If you have got a Microsoft 365 Copilot license and you're frustrated by what you can achieve with a declarative agent in Copilot Studio Lite, did you realize that you have access to Copilot Studio with inclusive messages? This was a change that happened on the 1st of September, and I believe that most organizations and most individuals don't realize that that capability exists. Obviously, I'm very passionate about the Power Platform. I talk about automations and agents in a lot of my videos and demonstrate how to build these. But what I feel is a lot of people are missing this opportunity to build out agents based on tools and tasks. Now, I'm going to take you through a series of resources that are available online at Microsoft, but I also have a demonstration using a mobile phone to create tasks in Planner, a very, very simple agent that consumes no messages. I have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license and there is zero cost as a result of me using that agent on my mobile phone securely through Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now we've previously heard Satya Nadella calling out Copilot as the UI for AI. You know, Copilot is the UI for AI. It's rapidly becoming an organizing layer for work and how work gets done. Every employee will have a co-pilot that knows them, their work, helping them unlock productivity, enhancing creativity, and saving time. And Copilot Studio will allow you to create agents that automate business processes. And if we have a look at this table that I've got on the screen right now, you can see how we can compare the two experiences, both the light experience that you get through Microsoft 365 Copilot, but also the full experience through Copilot Studio, the power platform. This is where we have two sets of administrators, a Microsoft 365 admin and a power platform admin. And ideally, you want these two parts of the organization to be speaking to each other as they look through how to govern and administer these agents that you build. Now, if I jump across onto Microsoft 365 Copilot as part of one of my demonstrations, you can see I already have a message asking my agent to think about some tasks relating to launching a new course. And if I send that to my agent traditionally using a declarative or using Microsoft 365 Copilot outright, it would give me a list of tasks like so. But if I was to restart this conversation with my task planner agent and use that same ask, because this agent is built on the Power Platform, it's a custom engine agent consuming zero messages using tools. It can do a bit more than just that thought process. It can actually create those tasks on my planner because I've given it that capability. So we can see the agent has done that thought process. It's configured some due dates. And over on my planner, if I refresh the screen, we can see those tasks have been added based on my ask. I've got a video on this full process. If you want to learn how you can build your own planner agent, make sure you check out that description and build along. Now remember, the capability of speaking to these tools is an out of the box feature of Copilot Studio. You build your agent, you add your tools, whether or not you want it to create a draft email, send an email, start an approval. And then once those are all described, your agent can select those different tools based on the descriptions that you've given it. But if I jump across onto my agent that I built previously in Copilot Studio, I can show you how simple things are. You're probably already familiar with instructions, and I have instructions here telling my agent how it should behave. Over in knowledge, I've included nothing, so the agent is not grounded on any specific knowledge, but of course, if you had specific documents you wanted your agent to refer to, then you can include them in here. Over on tools, this is where I've made my agent clever, the ability to do things on my behalf. So I've added in various actions across the platform related to Planner. And of course, the capabilities that I'm looking to deliver via my agent are those that I add in via these tools. So have a think about what you'd like your agent to do, add in those tools, and then you can have a conversation with your agent and it can drive those different actions based on your specific asks, or indeed, if you have a very strict process, the instructions that you've given your agent when you've built it. Now, to alleviate any of those fears about the cost of those messages or those credits, as they're now called, the Copilot credits, here is a table of those message charges. And you can see in the center there that 
if you use your agent via Microsoft 365 Copilot or indeed in Teams or SharePoint, there is no charge for any of those Copilot Studio features. The only exception is over on the right hand side. If you want to have agents that are acting autonomously, then unfortunately there is a cost associated with this. Now there was a big change on the 1st of September. Previously, things like agent flow actions and the generative prompts that you can use were chargeable. This has all changed. This opens up massive opportunity. If you want to do anything with processing documents via Copilot, the UI for AI, and you've got the Microsoft 365 license, then you could start building out end user agents to help you with your day-to-day -day job and make yourself super efficient. Now, if that table wasn't enough, here's another FAQ. And you can see here, it says that agents created in the standalone Copilot Studio and deployed to the Teams channel do consume Copilot credits. However, when they're used by end users with a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, their usage isn't billed. Furthermore, if I jump across onto this table into the documentation for Copilot Studio agents, you can see this level, lovely table, again, demonstrating that the message credits are included as part of your agent plan subject to fair usage. So of course, don't go and buy one Microsoft 365 Copilot license and try to automate your whole organization taking advantage of all this amazing AI. That to me is not fair usage. But if your organization has already invested heavily in Microsoft 365 Copilot, are you missing out on this opportunity to really explore what AI can do for your users via that UI for AI, that being Copilot. Now, something else that I'd like to call out as part of this table is the fact that not only can you use standard connectors, you can use premium. And previously, this has been a blocker in other tools like Power Automate and Power Apps, where in order to use those premium connectors, you'd have to have a subsequent license. In Copilot Studio, premium connectors are included. What does that mean? Another video for you. I built an agent that connects to Ticketmaster. It lets me search the events that are available through the Ticketmaster API. Ticketmaster have a public API that you can register for. Now, previously, if I wanted to bring that capability into an automation or into a power app, I would need an additional premium license. In Copilot Studio, that's not a requirement. So if you have systems that have APIs, you have the opportunity to bring them into your agents and then your users can talk to those APIs and perform specific tasks. I will include the link to that video, of course, in the description. Now, as I jump through the platform, I'm now on the Power Platform Admin Center. This is where your administrators check the billing usage of your agent. And I can see from my licensing and therefore my Copilot Studio usage, I've been heavily using my task planner agent. And we have two columns at the bottom here, one for build Copilot credits and one for non-build Copilot credits. As an end user on my tenant, I have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And as a result of that, the agents that I've been speaking to, whether that's been in Teams, in Microsoft 365 Copilot, or on my mobile, which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes, they are non-build Copilot credits. Therefore, through my $30 a month license that I have, there is zero additional cost to my organization. Do not miss out on this opportunity to explore custom engine agents in Copilot Studio. And finally, if that wasn't enough, here is a downloadable Excel file for your administrators on the Power Platform. From that same page, you can download the usage based on the last 30 days, and we can see again, we have those two columns, the build and the non-build. My agents that I've built have not cost me anything other than my user license. Make sure you're spending or using those non-build messages. There is no limit other than subject to fair usage. Don't build one agent to control your whole organization. And then finally, over on my phone, I have Microsoft 365 Copilot installed, authenticated as me. I can turn on the microphone and ask it to create some tasks via Planner. Again, I've mentioned my custom engine agent in my Microsoft 365 Copilot agent. Create me some tasks in relation to the months of November and December and tidying my garden so that it's prepared for spring.
Now, the agent has managed to dictate what I've spoken. It'll prepare those tasks, as we can see on my mobile phone. And over on Planner, if I refresh the screen, we can see that those tasks have been added into my planner, rake and remove fallen leaves, cut back the dead plants, cover sensitive plants, and clean and store garden tools. How about that? A custom engine agent built in Copilot Studio, deployed to Microsoft 365. And of course, if I look back at that original download, non-build messages, they all relate to my task planner agent, whether I'm using it on my mobile phone or on Microsoft 365 on my desktop. Make sure you're using this. Let me know in the comments what you're doing with it. And if you've got a use case for a custom engine agent, let me know, drop me a message, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Cheers.